This is the best part of Liberty University. Well, hey, everybody. <laughs> Good to be here. How's everybody doing? What an honor it is to be here. You are at a special, special place. Liberty, would y'all stand up to your feet? You folks are world changers. You will leave Liberty and go out there and implement the things that you learn while you're here. And all I can say is stay true to the mission, glorify Christ, and get out there and share the gospel. We have the opportunity here to be a part of something that's so much bigger than all of us. Let's welcome William Byron. Aren't you glad we serve a God that's never too busy to hear the cry of a repentant sinner? That the creator in the universe who hung the moon and the stars says, if you're still breathing, I'm not done. He said, I don't just want to wipe the slate clean from your wrongdoing. I want to bring you close and call you a son. It's never been about something that you could achieve. It's about the very, very fact that I love you. If you want to find yourself Lose yourself in the story that is greater than you. If it's really true, how can you look at life ever the same again? It changes everything. We have all been given a lot of power to build one another up. Nobody's better than anybody, no matter what position they're in. Whatever love you get, like a lot of people don't get that, so you just try to give it to other people. If you can spread hope, there's almost nothing more important than that. And I've experienced that in my life from this show, from getting to tell stories about love and hope. Man, I'm so glad I lost it all. Why? Because I realized Jesus was everything to me. And this Jesus is the one who meets us in our suffering and weeps with us in our suffering, even though he is in control. This is not the end of our stories. This is merely the beginning of new stories that God is writing and yet an even newer story in heaven. We all have to go through something in order to become the warriors and the soldiers that God is destined for us to become. But can I tell you, don't underestimate the power of giving God one more day to see what he's going to do in your life. We have the promise to wait on the Lord and receive new strength. You might be young, but you have the power of God living inside of you. Do something with it, y'all. Maybe we will be the generation that will say we will not coexist with the injustice. The answer to our country isn't going to come from the halls of Washington, D.C. It's going to come from people coming to know Jesus Christ. As people of God, you have to be the voice of truth, and you have to be bold and courageous to do it. Can you trust God with your future? If you do, you will be one that will change this world.